let's build a flashlight using 3D Studio Max. Now there's several different ways that we can go about doing this. Um, when you have a project like this, the first thing you want to do is analyze uh, point B or the end result that you're trying to get and, uh, and think of the best technique to get to that point. So um, there's different techniques out there. Uh, for example, plane modeling is one uh, where you would basically create a little uh, plane and then uh, turn it into a polygon and build off of that. Um, another thing you could do is uh, start with um, your shapes, like a circle, uh, or you may want to use a line and create a shape and then build off of that. Uh, and depending on the project, you may want to use the lathe modifier, which almost acts like a pottery wheel. Um, there's also lofting and uh, there's several different uh, different approaches that you can take to building a model. Um, one of the more common approaches is to uh, select a primitive object and build off of that. So you think of a flashlight and you think of the basic primitive object that uh, you know would match that look, that overall look. You know, and would it be a box? No. Uh, a cone? Maybe that could work. Uh, a sphere, no. Um, a cylinder, that to me makes the most sense. So let's start with a cylinder. I'll go ahead and build in the top viewport. Place it down and then um, build upward. So I click and drag to get my circle and then when I let go of the mouse, now I'm moving upward to create um, the height and then I'm going to click again when I'm done. And uh, these numbers don't have to match exactly on yours, your height and radius, but these ones should, uh, just so that we're all on the same page. Um, height segments, I've got five. Uh, cap segments, one. And sides, 18. Let's go to our perspective view, and uh, just for visual reasons, I'm going to change this color. It's green, it's kind of hard to see. I'll make it uh, like a bright red so you can see it. Um, and I can hit F3 too to switch between um, wire and uh, you know the solid look. Uh, so let's go to perspective and I'm going to hold Alt and uh, hit W and then I'm going to um, select the object I'm going to hit Z and that brings it forward that brings it to the front. Now um, if I wanted to uh, rotate around this um, there's this here where you can click and drag and it would rotate around you know basically if I move the mouse left and right it spins it left and right if I move the mouse up and down it uh, rotates the viewport you know uh, vertically so um, the other shortcut the other way to do this uh, would be um, just to hold alt and then hold down in the middle of the uh, hold down on the scroller which is between the right and left click on your mouse you just push down on that little wheel and uh, you can rotate by dragging rotate your viewport and um, if you want to move this suppose I, I want to move the viewport without actually you know relocating the object within the software I can just uh, bypass the alt key in other words just um, hold down on the um, scroll on the scroller and then move uh, left and right and I can uh, pan what they call panning uh, like that um, and then that's the shortcut the other way to do it would be to uh, hit this little hand here and then um, you can click and drag It's the same thing it's just a quicker way to get to it would be uh, just to hold on the scroller and move it um, let's look at the uh, wireframe I'm gonna hit uh, F3 so you can see you know the different points and things that it's got uh, let's go ahead and right click on it and convert it to an editable poly okay now we have this and we can choose uh, ver uh, vertex which shows us the little points where the lines meet if I zoom in you can see it better we have edge where we can select an edge border polygon and so on
I'm going to hold Alt and uh, hit W. And uh, I'm going to hit Z. That brings it to the front and all the viewports. And I'm going to go ahead and hit F3 to make them wire all the way around. Um, so let's see. First thing we can do is uh, we can build uh, the part of the flashlight at the top where it, uh, it expands out expands out and goes this way. Uh, so the way we would do that, let's go back to our modify uh, menu and then um, we'll click on the object and we'll choose polygon and I'm going to choose the top polygon in the top viewport. So you can see that that one is highlighted. Now you can lock a selection by um, hitting the space bar and what that does is it allows you to um, uh, allows you to make modifications to it without having to worry about losing that selection. And then if you make a mistake, you can always undo, edit, undo. Um, what I want to do here is, um, uh, I'm going to delete it, actually. I'm going to hit delete. So now it's, uh, if I hit F3 in the perspective viewport, you can see that that uh, top polygon is gone. See, it, the bottom one's still there. The top one's gone because I deleted it. So let me hit border. And I'm going to select the border. Now, um, I have to hit the space bar again to, uh, you know, unlock my selection. Remember, I locked it before. So that's where that comes in. Um, let me hold, uh, or let, I'm going to hold shift before I click down on the gizmo. I'm going to hold shift and then I'm gonna move it and what that does is it makes a copy it, it actually extrudes it and then I'm gonna rescale it in the top viewport I need to go to the center to make sure that it scales in all directions and you can sort of see the flashlight coming together now here um, now I'm going to switch back over to this viewport, so you want to right click. I'm going to change from the scale tool over to the um, select tool. And then I'm going to hold shift before I click on the gizmo. I'm going to hold shift, then I'm going to click and hold again here, and I'm going to extrude upward again. and then let go of the mouse and then let go of shift um, so let's build the top part of this flashlight usually uh, you see uh, these things will curve and then go back under and then there's a little uh, compartment in here where the light bulb goes so let's go ahead and build that and I'm gonna make this uh, large so I'm gonna hold alt and uh, hit W so I can just see in this viewport, which is fine for what we're doing. Um, so I'm going to hold shift and extrude up just a little bit. And then I'm going to use the scale, but I want to switch to the top viewport. So I'm going to hold alt, hit W, move over to the top viewport by right clicking on it. And then I'm going to scroll out with my scroller. And then um, I'm going to go to the center and uh, I'm going to click and drag just a little bit. And you can see what it did over here. Um, it just It's coming in and now we're going to make it go underneath. So we need to um, we need to extrude again. So I'm going to switch back over to select. I'm going to switch back over to my front viewport by right clicking. And the, the way I moved that down was that thing I showed, showed you before where I uh, hold, um, you know, click down on the scroller and then it allows you to pan. That's how I moved it down. Um, hold shift. And then I'm going to click here and drag downward. And then I'm going to come over to this viewport by right clicking on it. I'm going to use scale again. And I'm going to scale again. And what we've done now is 
we've come not only gone up and over a little, but we've gone up and over and over and down a little like this. So what we want to do is follow through and make it a dip. So from this point, all we've got to do is um, click on the select tool, hold shift, um, right click on this viewport, and then um, click and drag downward. And now we're extruding downward. I'm not going to go all the way through because that would look really bad. I'm just going to go down to this point here. And I'm going to go to the perspective view just for the sake of uh, example so you can see what's going on. See? And now what I want to do, if I come up to this viewport, I want there to be a dip here. And we're going to put the light bulb in here. So hold shift again, drag downward, and it's okay that it goes through because we're going to change that. We're going to go to our scale, we're going to go to our top viewport, and then we're going to scale inward. And that creates that dip. And you can see all that going on down here. See. Now, uh, this particular step comes in really handy, um, and that is we're going to um, cap this border. So uh, we've got the border still selected. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to come down here to, uh, uh, to cap this one. And uh, for the sake of example, I'm going to rotate this a little, and I'm going to make it large so you can see what's going to happen right in here when I cap that it makes a polygon inside there to seal it off because see in the real world the the uh, light bulb would come out of there but the batteries and stuff are underneath it and it wouldn't be uh, open okay well, let's give this a little pizzazz we'll go down here and uh, we'll work on this section down here Um, I'm going to switch over to vertices or vertex and I'm going to um, click and drag and select a whole bunch of uh, vertices and I'm going to drag them downward like this and then I'm going to do the same to this. Okay and um, now I'm going to um, switch over to polygons and I'm going to click on one of these polygons and now at, in this particular case I'm going to switch over to uh, perspective because I want to select a bunch of polygons um, make a multiple selection so I'm going to right click on perspective I'm going to um, enlarge it that's holding alt and hitting W then I'm going to hit F3 so you can see that it's uh, selected now you can um, select multiple polygons uh, by holding control and then clicking on the other one. Holding control, clicking on the other one. Okay, what I'm trying to do is leave a space between each one. See, like this. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to hold Alt, uh, hold down on the middle of the scroller and rotate it around. And it doesn't lose your selection. So um, hold control now, click again, click again. Alt, rotate, control, click again, click again, alt, rotate, control, click again, click again. So now we've got all these selected. Okay, when you're modeling, this next step is uh, one that you'll use a lot. Um, it's the bevel menu. So um, with, with these still selected, go down to Bevel and click on this little menu off to the um, right. And you can tweak um, the height and the outline amount here. And you can see what they do just by, um, you know, uh, making adjustments to it. What I want these to do is come out a little bit like this. And then here I want them to go in a little bit.
and the numbers don't have to match exactly uh, just uh, just so it looks nice so we'll hit OK and now I'm gonna hit F3 so you can see the effect that we've got see that It's kinda neat okay next thing we need to do I'm gonna hit F3 um, and then I'm gonna switch viewports Um, I'm going to select uh, polygons. I'll select all of these. Well, actually, these vertices like that. Um, okay, Alt W. Come over here to scale. Make these come out. And I'm not a big fan of the way that looks. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead. Uh, select all the polygons. Click on polygon. Click and drag and make a selection of all these. And let's try scaling that see what results we get. See, that's kind of cool. I like that. Very flashlighty. So um, let's take a look at uh, what we've got. I'm going to hit F3. See that? That's cool. 